Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen and I create textures for photographers to edit their photos with. Today I'm going to show you two things. Number one, how you can use textures to help you with an exposure problem. And number two, how you can use textures even if you don't currently own Adobe Elements or Adobe Photoshop. Um, I'd like to thank my uh, Jessica Drossen texture group for pointing me towards uh, this GIMP software, G-I-M-P. It is a free software program that you can download off the internet for Windows or Macintosh computers and it works very similar to how Photoshop uh, or Elements works. So um, I certainly don't pretend to be an expert in it but I am able to get around in it well enough to show you today how you can begin playing with textures in your photos. So I've got this photo up and it is clearly an underexposed photo. So what I'd like to do is look for a texture that is warmer and is lighter in tone to sort of combat the fact that I did not let enough light into this shot. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Open as a Layer, click on that, and I'm going to pick this texture called Sands. It's from my Texture Pack 3 and you see it went right over the top in a new layer. What I need to do now obviously in the layer submenu or menu here is transform. I'm going to rotate it clockwise then again in the layer menu I'm going to scale it. For uh, my purposes I've found that if I have an uncropped photo, if I scale it at 130, it will fit perfectly edge to edge. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little eyedropper tool, which is right here, my color picker, and I'm going to pick a very light tone. Um, because I have an underexposed image. So do you see here where the, the tone just changed to a, a light color from my texture itself? I'm going to use that to paint with. I'm changing my mode here in the layers palette to soft light. Now with a brush, let me find the brush tool, I'm going to actually go ahead and create a new brush. This says new brush right here. Clicking on it, it will be round. I'm going to change the radius to be about 240 pixels. I'm going to make sure that it's a soft brush. And what I'm going to do now is paint right on top of the texture itself. It looks like I'm painting on my photo, but I'm not. I have my texture layer selected and I am painting on it. The opacity here that I'm using just for demonstration purposes is 100% opacity but if you were doing this you might want to lower the opacity you would want to get uh, a brush that is better suited um, so that you only are getting over the the skin tones or um, because right now I'm just doing this very, very quickly to give you a, a quick idea of what is possible here. So, actually I'll lower the opacity just a little bit as I go over her shirt. There we go. So do you see here how I'm using that texture to warm it up and to brighten her tones? This was the before, this is the after. Um, I could probably stop there, but I'm going to show you how to add an additional texture in GIMP. So once again, I'm going to go to our File menu here. I am going to open as a layer, and this time I'm going to pick Twinkle Warm uh, from the Illuminations pack. I have a texture that is a warm tone and a cool tone in the Illuminations pack. So I am picking the warm version here, and I'm going to open it. And once again, I'm going to go to the layer. I am going to hit transform. I'm going to rotate this clockwise. If you see the lighter area up at the top, 
uh, will correspond with where my light source is coming from. Now, if it wasn't, if I had to flip this, I could flip it again in that layer transform mode if I wanted to make it, you know, uh, counterclockwise if I, had, if I had the wrong end up, so to speak. So again, what I'm going to do is layer scale 130, 130, hidden scale so that I have edge to edge. Now you'll note that the color in this texture, Twinkle, is very much um, the same tone as the, the Sans texture that we use from Texture Pack 3. So I'm not going to go ahead and pick another tone to paint over the top of uh, her skin tone with. I'm not going to use this tool again. I, I'm very comfortable with, with reusing the same color. So once again, I'm going to change my mode from normal to soft light. You can see the difference here. Again, it's just a little bit warmer. Uh, this is playing on the flare that I've already got going um, because of the way that this texture twinkle is built to incorporate a little bit of a flare effect. And now once again with my paintbrush tool, I'm going to carefully paint on top of my subject skin tones. Again, if I was doing this for real, I would probably want to be a little bit more selective about my brush size. I might even want to create a path um, to go exactly around my subject matter, but I think this will be fine um, for now for the demonstration. You get the idea. You can always go back in and fine tune it and work in a way that suits your style and your personal aesthetics. Again, I'll show you the before. This is without the textures. And all we did here was add two textures, Sands from Texture Pack 3 and Twinkle from the Jessica Drossen Illumination Textures Pack. Both are at 100%. Both are used in the soft light mode. Thank you so much for being here and seeing my video. I appreciate it. So again, if you don't currently own either Adobe Elements or Photoshop, please check out GIMP. It's a free download. It's a lot of fun. It will get you started if then you want to transfer over to Elements or Photoshop because it, it works in a very similar way. Um, but it's a great way to, to get in and play with textures and not have to spend a lot of money. Thanks a lot. Bye.